Thank you, President Trump, preparing a new executive order on immigration this week. And yesterday, the president said something many had been hoping to hear for a long time. This morning, we're hearing from Alabama Republican Congressman Gary Palmer. The Congressman, a lot to get to this morning. So let's start right off with how do you think the president is doing in his first month? Well, he's, I think he's done uh, extremely well with some of the executive orders. He's also uh, put together a, a fabulous cabinet. I mean, these are uh, not retreads. These are, this is new people with fresh thinking. The problem is, is getting them confirmed. This, the confirmation process is the longest in the history of the United States. Yeah. What, what's holding up? Democrats just refusing to, to be there? <clears throat> Democrats are, are slowing down every nominee. Uh, we just got the, uh, the uh, director of the Office of Management Budget, our, our budget director, last Thursday. Uh, there's still at least four or five more cabinet uh, nominees up, up for confirmation, and they've just they've uh, dragged it out as long as they can. But yet there have been some issues like with General Flynn's confirmation that was certainly an, an issue with well, Flynn. Well, he, he was confirmed very early. He was confirmed, and then, the, of course, there were yeah. problems with that, and they yeah. had to... Um, he had to resign. Well, yesterday, while at the African Museum of History and Culture, President Trump finally addressed this issue with the Jewish community. So just take a listen to this. The anti-Semitic threats targeting our Jewish community and community centers are horrible and are painful and a very sad reminder of the work that still must be done to root out hate and prejudice and evil. And Congressman, a lot of critics say it took the president far too long to say these words. What's your reaction to that? Well, I can't speak to, to uh, the president's response, but I agree with him. And I think this is the second time that we've had bomb threats called into these Jewish community centers all over the country. So it's obviously it, it's organized, it's orchestrated, and uh, I'm very concerned about it because it, there's uh, um, obviously some groups out there that that have an agenda that, that I think needs to be investigated and we need to find out who's behind it. You want a task force for this? Uh, I think we need to turn it over to our intelligence agencies and to our law enforcement uh, uh, to look into it because I, I, th I think it, we, we need to let our law enforcement track these folks down. Well, the president also planning a new executive order this week on that travel ban which seems to be tied up in the court system right mm -hmm. now. All across this country, a lot of these undocumented immigrants, even some DACA recipients, concerned that there's going to be a mass roundup. What do you say to them? Well, I I haven't seen the latest executive order, but my understanding is is that we're trying to find people who have committed uh, crimes here in the United States and get them, uh, send them back to the, uh, the countries they came from, and uh, that's exactly what we need to do. We, uh, I've been in hearings where I've had parents of, of children who've been killed by undocumented uh, uh, aliens here in the in the U.S. Uh, brutally murdered, uh, killed uh, one young, uh, one dad's uh, young daughter had just graduated from college and, and that uh, next day was killed by uh, 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 an illegal citizen, uh, an illegal alien uh, drunk driving, so. Yeah, a lot of undocumented yeah. immigrants out there. So you think this travel ban would make the country safer? Well, it, it will make uh, communities safer. I mean, Art, think about it. Uh, w we've got enough crime here in this country. We've got enough, um, death and destruction with, with alcohol-related uh, accidents, with gun violence, without importing any more. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it ought to be sensible to anybody uh, uh, that's, that's watching this that, that we don't need more uh, criminals here. We have enough. Right, Congressman, since we can't get to everything now, I want to remind everyone that we are going to be joined Congressman Gary Palmer with a Facebook Live at 7 o'clock this morning. Congressman, thanks a lot. We'll be talking more in that Facebook Live session. Jamie, back to you.